Welcome back everyone. In this lesson we'll be determining whether a cation is acidic or pH neutral. The question reads classify each cation as a weak acid or pH neutral. Remember what a cation is. It is an ion that has a positive charge. So starting with A we have C5H5NH+. Notice that this molecule has accepted a proton and this is why it's positive. Once a molecule accepts a proton then it likely becomes a conjugate acid because remember acids like to donate hydrogen ions. In addition, the ion here likely wasn't coupled with hydroxide, so we can say that this is a weak acid. Hypothetically, had it been coupled with hydroxide, it would have been a strong base and would have completely dissociated. Let's try the next question. Calcium 2 plus. Calcium 2 plus, as you can see, does not have any proton attached to it. This likely suggests that calcium 2 plus was coupled with hydroxide, where we had calcium hydroxide. And since calcium hydroxide is a strong base, it completely dissociates into hydroxide ions and calcium ions. The calcium ions provide very little acidic or basic properties to the solution. So this has to be pH neutral. In question C, Cr3 plus, that's a chromium ion. Now anytime you have a small, highly charged metal cation, such as this one or aluminum 3 plus or iron 3 plus, they actually form weak acids in solution. So if it's coupled with, let's say, water in a solution, it will begin to donate the protons of water forming hydronium ions. Relating back to question B, one thing that I want to mention is that neither the alkali metal cations nor the alkaline earth metal cations ionize water in this way. But the cations of many other metals do, such as this one. The smaller and the more highly charged the cation, the more acidic its behavior. Let's move on to D. We have lithium plus. Now, normally lithium is found with hydroxide, forming lithium hydroxide. So we can only assume that this lithium completely dissociated in this molecule, forming ions that are pH neutral. So I'm going to assume that this is pH neutral. Next, we have CH3NH3+. Given that this ion is positive and it has gained a proton, we can assume that it behaves as the weak acid or the conjugate acid. So I'll write down weak acid. And finally, we have iron ions, 3 plus charge, for the same reason as Cr3 plus being a weak acid, so is this one. And there you have it. That is how to determine whether a cation is basic or pH neutral.